It's installation day! 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 It's installation day! Day! We've got to install that. No wait. We got to install all that on that wall. I spent quite a bit of time doing punch list items on these boxes and getting everything tidied up, making sure that all the doors are adjusted. And I still had some uh, shelf pin holes to drill, uh, things like that. So it's actually taken me another day just to get to this point. I did spend yesterday doling the epoxy on the slab. It turned out fantastic, but it took probably two hours to find a reliable method to get it done. If by some crazy chance you are just joining us on this project, you have missed a lot. So we built these cabinets from scrap wood that was sitting out in our boneyard, was left over from our timber frame. That butcher block top right there actually was firewood in our firewood pile. So you've missed building the boxes, building the drawers, building the face frames, the doors, sending everything off for, for paint, and then getting this butcher block top built. And of course, we've got the sink underneath there. We had to cut that hole, trim everything to shape. This has been a monster project for us. We have an entire playlist of this project in case you're wanting to see cabinets built from scratch DIY style. We learned a lot. We're not teaching people how to do it. We're just sharing what we've learned and kind of the strategy. You actually have to jump back to the design because you can't jump straight to building. Uh, we spent quite a bit of time designing two completely different sets of cabinets for this area, which is our laundry and our kitchenette. So if you haven't seen the planning video, watch that before you watch the build video. It'll help to make the build videos make a lot more sense. This project had so many facets. One, we're wanting to learn how to use our shopsmith, and this was our first project to do that. Two, we're wanting to learn how to build cabinets or whether it makes sense for us to do this. We're building our dream home, one small project at a time, and we wanted to learn whether cabinet making is something we're good at and can we do it and does it look the way we want it to. We also wanted to use materials from our boneyard and build things with it. We built our own timber frame. If you haven't seen those videos, watch them. It's incredible. This house is just an insane work of art, uh, a labor of love with many, many hands, and these cabinets are just the same. So we use the same trees that our timber frame is made from to build the, fr the face frames and the frames on these cabinets. We're also working through some of the design questions that we have for the rest of the house. This project probably seems overly nice for a garage, uh, but this is our primary kind of cooking and cleaning and everything area right now, and it's a place for us to kind of practice designs that we want to uh, continue throughout the house. So this is a design style that Alyssa picked out. She really, really liked. It's fairly popular right now. It has a lot of different names, but you've probably seen a similar style. It's clean, it's simple, it's kind of timeless, it's white. Uh, these were beautiful wood frames. And then we painted them and now they're white. But I like it. I think that there's so much wood in this house and we want the wood elements to kind of speak for themselves. So uh, the white was something that we felt like would complement this project well. I've often said that cabinets are furniture that moves and I think this project has really punctuated that in my mind. I have a lot of respect for cabinet makers. Of course now there's more and more technology in this industry and computers are doing most of the cutting so I guess the skill and the trade is almost gone. I assure you all of this was built by hand. So I have a friend who's in the industry and I've been kind of uh, poking him for questions and installation was one of those. I was like, I'm ready, hit me with any installation hacks that you can, you can throw my way. And sitting here looking at these cabinets, don't they look great? They look fairly centered, the lines are good, everything looks proportionate, right? And that made me think, gosh, why, why would I put all these cabinets on the wall one at a time? Because what if the wall's not flat? I can almost guarantee you the wall's not flat. 
And he answered my question. He said, I wouldn't do that. I would attach all the cabinets together and get the top on, get the sink on, and like pretty much make this like a buffet, like a one piece unit and then attach it to the wall. So I think that's what we're gonna do. I'm not quite sure how we're gonna do that to the uppers, but we'll figure that out when we get there. I think the system is gonna work really well. I'm gonna try today to use our laser level for the upper cabinets. I may use it for the lowers too, I'm not really sure on that. Um, there's a, an accessory that we bought when we bought this kit over two years ago to do the earthwork for our house, but I had enough foresight at the time to find a kit that includes this piece. It's called a wall bracket and it's exactly what it sounds. You can mount the laser to the wall and you can also mount it to the tripod and it gives you a lot of versatility and this uh, wall bracket is adjustable so you can actually set it to an exact height. When it's on the tripod it's not super adjustable. You tend to use the receiver and a stick and that's more for like earthwork. But for interior stuff, like a drop ceiling, for example, this bracket's super handy. I'm hoping this will help us to get the cabinets really dialed in easily today. Those of you that have been following this project know that we put an epoxy coating or, or an epoxy pour over the butcher block and you might be thinking to yourself, why is it not shiny? Uh, we mentioned early on that we didn't like the glossiness of epoxy and we did a little bit of a test on kind of a butcher block type cutting board and we just tested epoxy and some finish ideas and we came up with this matte finish. It's really hard to tell, I'm sure on camera, kind of looks like it's just wood, but there actually is a little bit of depth uh, there. And so we use 600 grit sandpaper, wet sandpaper, really important. The wet made all the difference and we we're able to get this very matte looking finish. You can kind of see the glossy here on the edge where we did not sand. This is gonna go against the end wall. It'll never be seen. So that not only kind of smoothed the finish out or smoothed the surface out a little bit, but it also gave it a more muted look overall. And we feel like this kind of complements the cabinets better and the area versus having to A, keep up with the glossy and have this really shiny top. I'm flipping happy to report, by the way, that the sink and the top and everything fit the cabinets. If you watched that video where we did the fit up of the sink into the sink base, that's all great and wonderful and everything, but we didn't have all the cabinets put together and everything, and I wasn't 100% sure that everything would fit. I was hoping it would, but now I'm absolutely certain. So we've squared up this side corner and the back edges, sink fits. The only question mark I have left in my mind is from yesterday's video, can we get the tilt out uh, hinges that go on this little door right here to fit? I'm gonna wait till this whole thing is installed to make that decision. If it won't fit, we'll probably just put some sort of brackets in there and call that just a false drawer front. I think I'm doing this out of order. I think it'll be easier after the top is on.
Wow, a real drain. That's smooth too. Shut the front door. That's to keep junk from falling in the oh, drain. Oh, so it doesn't, it just sits like that. Yep, just so, like it's much easier to clean than the strainer. Wow, that's and beautiful though, isn't it? Well, and we can actually plug the sink off now too. That took forever to get done. It was like a million things to get ready to bolt it to the wall. I was telling Alyssa, it says on the to-do list, install cabinets. It's just one line item, but that is a ridiculous amount of preparation to get the thing scooted against the wall and fastened. Uh, I think the reason in my mind is that it, it's easier to do a lot of that stuff, uh, and some of it you have to do, but it's a lot easier to do some of it with the cabinet off the wall. So we could have put the, the faucet on and all that stuff afterwards, but it's a lot easier to get to it from the back. Makes me feel really good that the back of this top looks pretty stinking good as it is. I mean, we're going to be putting a backsplash back there, so this is going to end up getting covered and stuff. but. Uh, like I was really worried that this wall was cattywampus and that this is going to be a shimming nightmare. Of course, we're not done yet. We still got to do the uppers and wouldn't you know, that's probably where it's going to be ridiculously hard, but hopefully not. What do you guys think? We think it looks amazing. This thing is solid. <laughs> At first I was like, oh, let's maybe not stand on that, but you know what? I think it's ready to be stood on. Of course, I wouldn't stand in the sink, but you know what? When we were installing that sink, that was what was going through my mind, is that someday some knucklehead might try to stand on that sink and I don't know what, change a light bulb or something stupid. I'm not sure if it's strong enough for that, but this thing is stout. Definitely was a good idea, thanks to my friend for suggesting to screw everything together and then pre-drilling the top was great. Um, I used some lag screws for that. It's way overkill. You're gonna have to hook to that with a truck to take it off there. But it worked really good, and uh, pre-drilling I think was really important so we don't split the top. That would suck at this stage. And of course then we just threw some mounting blocks on the back to fasten it to the wall, and everything is awesome. Didn't even adjust it. Let's see what we've got. Hot diggity dog.
What do you think? Looks so Holy good. cow. Look at that. I already snuck a photo and sent it to You my did? Ooh, nice. That um, looks so good. I, I can't wait. Like, we need to put the doors on. Yeah, but, don't lean on it. It's barely on there, but. Yeah. I could. I'm so smokes. excited to make an omelet in the morning. Right? Look at that. It's just, it's so polished and there's so much space. Yeah. Yes. Wait, yes. so we have a light up there, lights underneath here. Like, that's all kind of dark underneath there. Wait till that's lit up. Oh. Yeah. So yeah. good. Thanks for the help. I sure definitely can. couldn't have done that alone. No way. Yeah, glad I could help where I can. Yep. It went better than I expected. It's been a little a rough. a long time coming just to get to this point. Yeah, I still have a cabinet to put over there over the dryer, but we'll deal with that when it's we can. Funny. It already looks, everything looks great. Yeah. I'm extremely happy with it. You're happy yep. with it. But seeing it here, it looks even better than I could have imagined. Right? Wow. It's just, it's so tall. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. It's so big. Nice. Once we get some water running in that sink, and some lights underneath there. Mm -mm -mm. Gonna load a laundry going. Oh yeah, a load of laundry, some cooking. It's gonna look like a kitchen over here. Now Watch I out. Think, now I need to think about dish organization. We haven't been to that point yet. We don't have that problem but, yet. Yeah, yeah, we need to think about how to organize things and yep. you know, details. Oh, I'm thinking coffee and coffee mugs over there, dinner yeah, plates over here. We definitely need to make a really good breve tomorrow. Yep, espresso maker. Station. Oh yeah, stay tuned. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I cannot believe this is actually happening. So the uppers went on just fine. We had one small snafu or about three or four. Um, we tried to use a cleat and then obviously set them on the cleat. Worked really great, except for it. when I put a level on there, I got some weird readings and that's because a couple of my upper shelves are a little wonky. Um, I identified that when I put the face frames on and I, I used a level on those. Anyway, we shot the line with the laser and the cleats were dead on. The reason I knew it was wonky was when I went to put this end panel on, uh, these cabinets didn't line up. And because of the plane of this end panel, these panels have to be over the top of each other. Otherwise, a quarter of an inch wouldn't really matter. But in order to get it tight here and tight here, we had to make everything work. So we had to take them back off the wall. <laughs> well, not off the wall. We had to take them loose and then move them over a quarter of an inch. But now they're on there and they're on there really good. It feels like we've come so far. Um, my brain is still kind of absorbing this. I've just honestly been standing back, kind of taking it in. Looking at this in reality versus what we drew in SketchUp is just incredible. I don't have the ability to do uh, the white and the butcher block and the stainless steel sink. I don't, I don't know how to do that in the software. So you have to use a lot of imagination with my drawings, but at least it gives us something to look at and talk about in kind of conceptualizing, you know, how we want things to look. The end panel, it looks a little bit weird right now, but that's because there's no washer and dryer over here and there's also no dryer upper. Uh, I need Alyssa's help with that. So we'll have to tackle that uh, a little bit later. But uh, once we get the washer and dryer there in the upper, I think it's gonna look really sharp. Not putting this end wall here is not really an option because then this would just fall into the washer and dryer and it would just look weird. And um, you know, we want to be able to, to clean this and I think this is actually very utility space. Uh, we just need to figure out what exactly we want to do with it. We'll be putting a little piece of trim along here just to kind of make that nice and also make it easier to clean. We don't really want a bunch of gunk falling down in there, so that's going to suck. Um, we do need to get some sort of a panel. It's more of a confession. I don't, I didn't think far enough ahead to put some sort of finish in here. Kind of silly, but I guess in a way that just leaves us a little bit of room for creativity. We need to put something underneath there. We've got a light to go in there and then something to finish these ends. So I'm going to kind of put a list on that task and see if she comes up with something maybe on Pinterest or, or something. Otherwise we can just make a panel like this, have it finished and then we can install it and it'll look super sharp.
Yeah. Is that water gonna taste better? It is. Or the same? I was gonna say it's gonna taste better. Mmm. How is it? Good. It's better? Mm-hmm. It's more satisfying. <laughs> it is more satisfying. That's a beautiful sink to be getting water out of, just saying. That's it's like, like drinking a... coffee out of a brand new mug versus like a yeah. Christmas mug in June. True. Even though Christmas mugs can be Our had all year round for a quarter. Christmas mug in June, if you know what I mean. <laughs> fish sticks guys when I said earlier it was installation day no I didn't think we'd get this far in fact three hours ago I didn't think we'd get this far but we just keep plugging away and knocking off little tasks it's starting to look good look at that Wow my mind is totally blown seriously I mean even my craziest imagination, when you go to a showroom and you're like, oh yeah, yeah, that, yeah, 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 I'm gonna go home and build that. Uh, yeah, didn't think, didn't think it was gonna happen. Uh, we got the end panels installed. Wow, those look fantastic. They really button it up. Um, we're gonna be trimming out here on the corner, uh, really to tidy up all of that stuff. Someone I know who's in the cabinet industry was like, you're gonna trim that out, trust me. And I'm like, okay, sounds good. Uh, we've obviously got to do backsplash still. We're gonna test out this paper towel holder. Alyssa and I kinda went like back and forth, back and forth about what to do about that. We're gonna try it out. We'll see what happens. <laughs> she thinks we're gonna like it. I think we're gonna not like it. But we'll see what happens. Uh, little temporary towel holder. Come on, you gotta have a place to dry your hands. Oh, and my lovely Alyssa came down and helped me get this stinking cabinet done. That feels good. There are no more cabinets in this house to install and I am really happy about that. Still got to do a little bit of work to tidy that up but now you can start to kind of visualize the washer dryer area. Um, it's going to fit pretty tight. It's going to be pretty compact but lots of measuring, lots of calculating. This was all done in the software, right? So it should fit, right? <laughs> uh, it's really scary. This is a really small space and we measured and measured and measured and then designed and measured again. And uh, the cabinets unfortunately kept shrinking. Every time we measured, the cabinets got smaller. But I think it's enough. It's beautiful, which helps. I think you can kind of learn this from the people who do van living and from tiny houses and stuff. When you make things nice, it's almost like you could do with less. Um, we've kind of become this culture of more is better. So we want Big Macs, but it's like really low quality where this is like really, really nice even if it's really, really small. This USB outlet, I feel like is something everyone should do. Even if it's USB-C, they've got those, or the regular USB. This one outlet, you can do it to any, any house you can put this in. Put it near wherever you keep your phone or whatever, and you'll never have a dead battery on your phone again. We have one of these in the bathroom, but that's because it's the first place that we ever had electrical, and so we just, that's what we did. Uh, but we don't need to do that anymore. We can now put them right here, and what a beautiful spot to charge our phones. Oh. 